which is honestly why I agree with this statement. Do you see what I mean? That's just really just it. Why are you farming this boss? Uh, I'm farming this boss because uh, I'm farming from Canvas because I hate myself. The version satisfaction survey is out. I mean, you guys want to see me do it? Sure, I guess we can do it. Let's see what Hoyoverse has in store for us this time. Hmm. Dear Traveler. Yeah, this just. Sure. What year were you born? Garbage. Okay. Overall, how how do you feel about this version of the game? Uh, so, I know that a lot of people uh, say that the game is dead right now, or at least in its dead phase. But... If I think about this version of the game overall, I believe that this version was pretty good. Uh, simply, it was good. What do you guys think? Was it good or bad? One, if it was good, two, if it was bad. Good? Good? Yeah, I, I do agree that it was good. The That being said, I do think that uh, most, most of the event was... Uh, most of the events and most of the heavy front-loaded good stuff were in the first half. The second half didn't have much. Uh, I haven't done Baiju's uh, story quest yet, so I'm not sure uh, how good that is. Uh, but yeah, this is overall how satisfied are you with the Gaviri Le Lejevard and Realm of uh, Parakert, I guess, and version 3.6. I'm gonna say... Uh, the area was pretty good. I'm gonna say very satisfied. Especially that final part in the area. That's what I'm saying. The This version, the update itself was very good. It's just that it was super front-loaded, so people forgot. How Overall, how satisfied are you with the following characters? Ganyu. Uh, very... Eh, somewhat satisfied. Baiju. Somewhat satisfied. Probably in the future I'm going to be very satisfied, but for now, the way he is, I'm somewhat satisfied. Nahida. Very satisfied. Nilu. Some... It's either, it's between very and somewhat. I'm gonna leave this neutral. Nah, I, I think, I think, I think Nahida is, sorry, Nilu is uh, more than neutral. At least in my opinion. Very unsatisfied. <laughs> you must really hate Nilu, don't you? What did she do to you, man? I, I'm gonna leave it at so unsatisfied. Kave, oh my god, I'm very unsatisfied with Kave, but... I'm probably gonna talk about this in a future video. Uh, how satisfied are you with the storyline content in this version? Let's see. Storyline, storyline, storyline. I... What are... Hmm. I, I, would, I would say it's... I would say I'm somewhat satisfied because I think that they could have done more with, with the... Uh, Oceanids and the Pari between those two and given us more lore on that. Uh, it was left vague. Uh, they could have also given us... I I don't think that the presentation of the story of the one-armed sage and the Dane Sleeve was that obvious to most people. Like, here's the problem with Genshin's uh, stories. The world quests are the best quests in the entire game, but most of the time they are not really... Like, no one pay pays attention to that, because most people are not willing to read all of that text. And I don't really blame most people. I just skip through everything. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know. Most pe I mean, most people just skip through everything, which is why I think that uh, Boivers should voice act the world quests. But they don't. Overall, how satisfied are you with Parade? Oh, that's the main event. Uh, I think that the storyline of this mini event, I'm very satisfied with uh, with the story between Kave, <laughs> with the story of Kave running. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I get what you mean. Kave running with the foxes. That that was nice. But anyway, on a serious note, Kave's story. I, the reason I call it Kave's story is because this event was basically just trying to build up Kave as a character. Uh, obviously, they did uh, have some segments about Farazan and Layla, but I think that was mostly about Kaveh. Uh, I would say that 
it included a lot of useless information and it derailed sometimes. So it could have been better. That being said, excluding the story itself, the minigames were really good. I did enjoy all of the minigames. All of them? Uh, yeah, yeah. All of them were fun. So I'm going to say somewhat satisfied. Not the best. Overall, how satisfied are you with the following events? Fulminating Sandstorm. Um, I'm honestly going to say meh. That event gave you nightmares? Yeah, I, I feel you. It, it was really boring. Especially the part where you just have to talk with two people arguing. Two young lovers arguing. I don't really care about that when I'm playing the game. Or trying to play Genshin Impact doing my dailies. Uh, brewing Development. Uh, which one? Yo, chat. Which one was Brewing Development? The one with the... Oh, oh, the one with the female researcher. Oh, I, I remember. I remember. Actually, this one was good. I'm gonna say very satisfied. The Recollector's Path. So rush. Hmm. So rush. You think So rush looks really cute when she has her hands on her mouth or what, where her mouth should be when she's flabbergasted? Yeah, I agree. And so rush is very adorable. I'm glad that she's a permanent pet. That is a very good addition to the game. Uh, that being said, overall, this event, I'm going to say somewhat unsatisfied. The lore was good. I don't. Th I think the lore should have been in uh, in a separate side quest that you do after finishing the uh, the the like whatever called the new 3.6 area world quest. I don't think it should have been part of this event. Uh, the gameplay wasn't good. Overall, how satisfied are you with Genius and Vacation TCG? Somewhat satisfied. Neutral? Somewhat satisfied. You know what? I'm going to leave this up to you guys. One, if you're satisfied. Two, if you're not. Let me know. You know what? Let me do it. Oh, uh, never mind. Everyone says neutral. Okay, sure. Neutral. How satisfied are you with the weapons in this version of the game? Including Jade Falls Splendor. Okay. Let's move on. How satisfied are you with the wish system in current version, including character event wish, weapon wish, uh, weapon event wish, standard wish? I'm going to say somewhat unsatisfied, because I think that the weapon banner should be improved. How satisfied are you with the in-game benefits in, ver in this version? I don't care. Uh, how satisfied are you with the character... And weapon enhancement material in current version. Level up materials, ascension materials. Bro, here's the thing. These things, either you need to make them cost zero resin, or you need to do something about the artifact system, because the artifact system is hot garbage in this game. It's the same thing with Star Rail, but... I mean, yeah, just artifacts suck. It's so depressing to farm them. How satisfied are you with the music in this version of the game? Music is always good. Very satisfied. How satisfied are you with the game's language? Holy, very satisfied. There is nothing wrong with your language, Hoyoverse. <laughs> I'm not sure why they're worried about... Uh... I mean, I, I get it. Never mind. I, I do get it. From a development standpoint, I do get it. How satisfied are you with the voiceover on voiceover? Very satisfied. The voice actors are good. How satisfied are you with the co-op? I don't care. How satisfied are you with the gaming security? I don't care. I mean... I'll say this. How satisfied are you with Hoyoverse as a company? Okay, chat. What do you think? What do you think? Do you say neutral? I mean, this is just my opinion, right? But uh, do we say neutral? Or do we say somewhat unsatisfied? Tip them off, you know? Make them make them question their decisions. I think most people are gonna are gonna just say very satisfied. Most of the kids, right? All of all of the twelve year old kids are gonna read this and because they're like, I fucking love Genshin Impact, and they're gonna say very satisfied, right? What do you guys think? <laughs> Some <laughs> very unsatisfied. Yo, you are brutal, man. I mean, I, I I'm gonna say I'm gonna say neutral. I think Koyverse is a very very very. You know what? Never mind. I take it back. Some, somewhat satisfied. Hoyoverse is a very good gaming company. It's just that I think some of their decisions, like artifacts, again, I I really hate artifacts. Or at least the way artifacts are farmed right now. So, yeah. No, never. How do you feel about the time and effort required to play Genshin Impact 3.6? Uh, little time and effort required. A lot of time and effort re required. Uh, I'm gonna say... So, what's... Oh, seven... 
I'm gonna say three. Okay. How willing are you to continue experiencing Genshin Impact? Uh, definitely willing, because I'm addicted. How willing are you to recommend Genshin Impact to your friends? Yo guys, I always say this every single time. I'm definitely willing to play the game. I'm definitely not willing to play to recommend this game to anyone. It's it's just it's this is how it is. And this is the only game I think this is the only game even Star Rail. With Star Rail, I'm definitely willing to play Star Rail, but I'm not like I'm not unwilling to recommend it to others. With Genshin, I am unwilling because of how, it's how garbage the the freaking artifact system is. Oh man. Do you have any Okay, here's my copy pasta. Okay, whatever. Survey complete, thanks for your help. Man! Every single patch I say the same thing and I never get any results. Will they ever change it? What do you guys think? I, I, honestly, I don't think that they really care about most of the information that we provide, but some of it is useful for development. Like, I can see that uh, Hoiverse has definitely taken some of the advice in Genshin and put it into Star Rail. So they do actually take the advice into account. The, the sad part is that they take it into account, but they don't they don't use it in Genshin Impact itself. They do use it in the game where they collect the resources, the information. And that blows my mind. Come on, Hoyoverse, you can do better. Fix some of Genshin's flaws. 